the baton got passed from Sid to David. And I think without Sid Barrett, there would be no Ziggy Stardust. There would be no Johnny Rotten. That's really what I'm, I'm focusing on here, that Sid, and when, when I sing Sid, uh, the voice has come through layers of other Londoners. The thing with Sid is, yeah, there is that incredible sense of whimsy and... Uh... Almost, which doesn't really, I don't really know what it relates to. It, it's not, doesn't come, because the funny thing is, is, if you listen to like a lot of the riffs, there's a lot of the stuff we do where he clearly, his kind of rock and roll and blues knowledge was fantastic and he had all that stuff down. But there's this whole other, it's like, I don't know what was informing that. You know, this whole almost nursery rhymey tumty tum thing. And I, you know, I don't know where that came, I mean, I, I guess it, what would be interesting to know would be to like, know the music he was listening to when he was a kid, because because oh, it's so childlike and so sort of obviously, I think probably informed very much by whatever he was listening to in his childhood.